Well, thank you for tuning in to Chicago Prayer and Hope. We pray for you all because we believe in the power of prayer, because we're praying to the true and living God of the universe who hears our prayers and will answer them in His imperfect timing, because His timing is perfect and His timing will always be perfect. Amen? Amen. And also, will we share the good news of Jesus Christ right out of this true and living Word of God, which brings salvation to you all if you believe by faith alone and repent of your sins. And, um,. And it, it offers you the best gift of all, which is eternal life of Jesus Christ forever. Amen? Amen. Well, brothers and sisters, give God praise. Let's give God praise. Jesus, you are good. Thank you for who you are. Brothers and sisters, we got a good topic. We're going to be talking about who God is and what our response should be. We're going to be in Psalm, the book of Psalms, Psalm 119, verse 114. The book of Psalms is awesome. It speaks to... So many situations, good times, bad times, sad times, you name it. Book of Psalms is awesome. We should be read more out of it, and we will going forward. So there's the book of Psalms, 119, verse 114. So as you're flipping there, if you have your Bibles, would you flip along with me to there? And as you're flipping there, I'm going to open us up in a brief word of prayer. To our Heavenly Father, who is worthy of our praise and prayers. You guys ready? Send our hearts on God. Father God, thank you for who you are. Thank you for your love. Thank you for a new day there. Offer this every fresh. If yesterday didn't go good, we have another day to start over, start new. Would you speak to us now, Lord, by your word? Grow us where we need to be grown. We want to learn more about you. Amen. You guys ready? Psalms 119 verse 114 says this. You are my refuge in my shield. I have put my hope in your word. Brothers and sisters, what good and powerful truth in this passage. Can we read this one more time? And as we read this a second time, let's ask God that he would speak to us about what this verse means. Let's meditate on it. It says, You are my refuge and my shield. I have put my hope in your word. What does this mean, brothers and sisters? How does this start out? It says, You are my refuge. Who is our refuge? Jesus Christ, the King of kings, the Lord of lords, who died for you and me on the cross, took away all sin. That's who our refuge is. It's Jesus. You are my refuge and my shield. Shield is a figure of speech, meaning he guards us, he watches over us, he protects us. So he's our refuge, our safety, safe place that we can turn to. He's our shield. He protects us. I put my hope in your word. If he's our shared in his refuge, if he's our refuge and our shared, then what have we done? We put his, our hope in his word. Have you done so? That's my encouragement and challenge. Have you done so? Have you put your hope in his word? Because if he's, if he's your refuge and you shared, then you have. If you haven't put your hope in his word, then he's not that to you yet. But I'm going to give you the invitation to come to God for the first time, if you haven't, in just a second. That's my encouragement for you all today. Well, if you never came to God for the, um, or you would like to come back to God and the prodigal son, then now is your chance to, by praying the simple prayer of faith, by believing in your heart that Jesus Christ is the Lord. Repeat these words after me. Father God, I confess I'm a sinner. I confess my need for you. Lord, would you please come into my life, Lord? I cannot do this life without you. You're the only hope I have. I need you, Jesus, and I... Accept you as my savior. Amen. Well, if you just pray this prayer today for the first time with us, or we pray this prayer in honor of the prodigal son, then I want to welcome you in the family of God, or welcome you back in the family of God. Because scripture says when one walks in the family of God, or one walks back in heaven rejoices, and I rejoice along with you as well. And I've been praying for this moment, be the brothers and sisters. This is truly the most important decision that one can ever make with their life, is by placing their faith in Jesus Christ alone, and repenting of the sins, and accepting them as a person of faith in accepting them as the person or savior. Brothers and sisters, this is truly the most important decision. So if you just made this decision today for the first time, or we committed your life to Christ, I encourage you to reach out to me or to someone because we want to give you resources and next steps to take on this important decision, decision they made today. We don't want to market you at all. We don't want to pressure you. We just simply want to walk alongside you and let you know what's next on this important decision they made today. And also, we just want to be praying for you. Brothers and sisters, Okay, bless you all today with the true and living word of God. Will you put your hands up to receive it? 
May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord make his face shine on you. And may you never forget that Jesus is your refuge and your shared and your, your hope in his word. Brothers and sisters, if you guys were encouraged by this video and you feel like someone else needs to be encouraged by it as well, would you please do me a favor? Click on that share button and share this video with someone. Share the hope of Jesus Christ with them. If you guys just need prayer or you guys would like to talk, please don't hesitate to reach out. I'm here for you. And until next time, keep quest number one and have a blessed day. Peace.